this is Monica and I have a beautiful case to show you today. So I am going to be showing you this beautiful pink and blue case. This has a lot of little bead containers or micro painting containers if, if you want to look at it that way. Now they have a website artdot.com. You can go and check them out. They have a lot of different types of things including storage and that is what they reached out to me for in order to review for you. I actually purchased this case and I am an affiliate with them now so I do have a coupon code to get 10% off of any of your purchases with artdot.com so make sure that you check out those links below. But the item that they have sent me to uh, review like as a sponsored review for you that will be coming later and that is going to be something really cool uh, of a similar nature i really wanted this this comes in several sizes small medium large extra large what is in this are a bunch of little bottles that holds any type of thing that you want to put into those bottles a lot of these people that make those diamond painting pieces of artwork they have those little teeny tiny looking uh, pieces that they put on the the printed out picture in all of the different coordinated colors and stuff and those bottles will hold all those little different pieces. I am going to actually be using it for my craft supplies. More importantly, in this particular item right here, I'll be using them for my beading supplies. So that's exciting. As you well know, I do traveling on my beading classes, my jewelry making classes, and I am always looking out for items that are functional but also beautiful and it, it's something that is easily portable for me because if I'm going to be teaching classes I do not want to have something that is ugly clunky and going to fall apart on me so I mean I'm really excited about this because this is the extra large size and I knew that I had plenty of things to put in here even when I go to teach my classes I have a lot of things that I have to take my tools I have individual student kits and it depends on how large the class is that I'm teaching as to how many kits I'm gonna to need, tools and all that stuff. But for me, just to be able to go and maybe teach you one-on-one, -on -one, this is perfect. And this is also great for jewelry parties because I can go and load this up and then take this out with me. And it's my pink and blue colors, guys. You know how I'm about my branding. I'm always about making sure that you have your colors and your business cards and your brochures and your QR codes and all that stuff whenever you go out to do any kind of public profile persona for your handmade business. <laughs> And this is perfect. It doesn't say Sparkle by Monica anywhere on it, but it's my pink and blue colors and kind of fits my floral and butterfly kind of vibe, my free spirit and all that stuff. So I really enjoy the whole thought of this and that's why I went ahead and purchased it. They did give me that coupon code that you'll be able to utilize for yourself. And then also I did get an affiliate discount on this. So it's not all bad, but the next thing that I'll be reviewing is something that they provided to me for a sponsored review. And that will be my honest opinion as well, but that's gonna be something totally different, kind of give you a similar vibe though. All right, I unzipped these beautiful zippers. Now, the thing that I really like about this so far are the zippers are high quality. They're not flimsy. They're nice and sturdy. And the little zipper pulls are as well. And I like that they're a contrasting color too, that black. So I have unzipped it. Now, what, 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 what could possibly be in here, you say? I don't know. I have no idea. Yes, I do. <laughs> Look at this. So this is the first level of what's in here. Now, I mean, th these that's a lot of bottles, okay? A lot of bottles. And then when you pull these bottles out, look at them. They're tiny little bottles. But when I say tiny, I mean, this is a good size for, well, especially the, if you're uh, one of those diamond painters. So if you really are into that, this is this is going to be right up your alley because this is really what the, the company focuses on. We beaters are just, and crafters also, we're just able to utilize this stuff too, and it's exciting. Well, these bottles are all throughout here and you can see like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So just right here are 80 bottles. I know I had to do some arithmetic. Oh my gosh. Does anybody even call it arithmetic anymore? <laughs> Math, whatever. Multiplication, however you youngins refer to it now. I'm almost 50. I'll be 50 in May. And I, I say arithmetic just like my grandmother. That's sad. But I have all of these bottles here. So that's 80. I have unzipped the second level. And whoa! And look, they even put one of those keep it fresh packets. I've got more bottles. That's 160 bottles. But wait, there's more. But here is where it's extra large because this level comes out. Look at that. So all of your bottles are in this nice little thumb holder. I'm just gonna lay this out of the way now because what you say, you need more bottles? You need more bottles? 
Look at that. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Let's see if I can show this to you a little bit better. <gasps> Ooh, so that's what's in the very bottom. And then that foam piece with the other bottles fit in here. So we got 80, 80, 80. What is that, you math wizards? 240. Something else that's cool that I just realized is the, the foam that you have there, you've actually got the foam again here. So this is removable. Let's say I want to customize the portability of this. I am able to do that. And that is so exciting because I might want to have all of my tools or maybe I'm going to be teaching like five students, right? And I put my kits in here. The kit uh, video, I will have that link below. I did that a while back, but that is what I give to each individual beading student. And then they have the tools and all that stuff that they give right back to me at the end of class. And so I could do that up here and still be able to have either one or two inserts full of bottles of individual components and beads and things. And then I don't have to take it out and then restore it anywhere because why? I can leave it all in this case. So if I get a call, hey, we wanna do some wire wrapping classes and there's six or seven of us or you know whatever, and uh, do you have kits? Yeah, I've got the kits. So all of that stuff is already set up on my website. That way they can go and do like a, a booking with me for the classes or the jewelry parties, whichever way they want to do it. And then I can customize my case here instead of taking four and five different containers or plastic things. I was using some, uh, I'll try to insert a picture, uh, plastic stackable containers. And a lot of the beads are so heavy when it, you do it like that, that when you go to lift up the handle, you gotta be really careful that you don't just slightly tap it and one of the levels falls off and your beads go everywhere. So this, is a very nice way to do it, more secure because each of these bottles are being housed in that foam. And then you can zip everything up and just take this. Now, if this is heavy, okay, well that's fine. It's got this huge handle right here and it's very well designed. It looks like it's very secure and it's thick here on the top. It's not flimsy. So this case is really gonna be cool for me to take to all of my little classes and things. And even, I'm just sitting here at my table and I decide, oh gosh, I know I put those beads in my case because I use them for my classes and stuff. So I think I'm going to uh, design with that. I just unzip my case and sit right here at my little table and make whatever I want to. It, it's already in there and I can remember where I've put certain things and stuff. So I have uh, an opportunity to go mobile. Also, I always know we're just here in my little pink and blue case and it's secure and it's sturdy. I don't see anything flimsy on it. So now I have shown you the bottles. I've shown you the zippies, so I can pull these out. And then I have an open area that's a little bit deeper in the bottom that I can fit multiple kits and not just a couple. Let's look and see here what is in the very top that we've not discussed yet. This is a mesh area where you can put loose items and things and they've already got some goodies in here so this came with this case. A lot of this stuff is especially handy if you are one of those uh, diamond bead artists or diamond painting artists I think is what they call them because they give you this kit here inside of your your portable something I thought was really awesome is they have a funnel but this funnel flattens so when I want to use it I just push this out this is a silicone funnel here and it is something that I can whatever I'm working with once I'm ready to put it back in the bottles I just use the funnel screw this it's a screw cap bottle, so it's not unsecure. Uh, some of those bottles that you get elsewhere, they are actually just pull off lids. Well, that's not gonna help you at all because it's gonna just pop open and then you've got a big mess everywhere if it's getting jumbled up. So you unscrew this and then you just pop your little funnel on there and it you just pour. And I mean, it's a large enough funnel there that you're not gonna have a craziness like what I have. And then put it back where you got it from flatten this back and stick it back in your little container here. So let's look and see what else we've got. Oh, this is cool. So these are little labels. So I can either use that for my bottles, like maybe the tops of my bottles, since this is the way that this case is, or in the next item that I'm gonna be doing a review for you on, it's gonna be used in a different way. What could that be, I wonder? I don't know. You'll have to come back and see. And then let's open this. So this was in the little zippy, in a nice little Ziploc bag. Oh my gosh, look at this. So we have some tweezers. 
And then we have a, I think this is what they use to like squeegee whenever they unfold their little piece that all those little tiny rhinestone looking things go on, the little diamonds. They have to smooth that vinyl or whatever that stuff is that their artwork is physically printed on. They have some little Ziploc bags here. So this is also another alternative to any tiny components that you have, little BBs and stuff. And they have some little trays, look. So this is handy. You can have uh, one of those little scoopers to get that out of here, or you can use this as a scoop. Depends on what, how many of what you've got. Or I can use this as little micro bead trays. Like I can sit them out for me and uh, pour my bottles out onto these. That way I've got easier access instead of having to dig down into the bottles. And then when I'm done, just use this in order to pour back into my funnel. Got some beads poured over here on my tray. Now look, this is just a huge amount of beads to try to get into this little bottle here, but I can use my funnel to help me get some of them put in there and then just transplant over to another bottle, whatever. This is just bead soup, so it doesn't really matter. I'm not trying to coordinate to the bottles. Now you can if you want. So if you're using the bottles in another way that I'll be showing you later, you can color cord coordinate or color code your bottles however you want to do that or you can just do bead soup or you can do like type of stones whatever now i can come over here where it's got the tapered end and start to pour and looky there now my my little funnel is a little bit messed up oops i got a big bead in there too it's not going smoothly for me yet there we go so i have a big bunch of beads here and actually this could go up a little higher if I wanted to. And I'm just going to then screw the lid back on and look, I've got some beads and then I just pop that into my little areas there, however I want to arrange it. Now I still have some more beads, so what are we gonna do here? Let's use this other tray. So I've got a larger tray. This has got taller sides here on that tray and it's got a very tapered, area for seed beads. So I've got some of those seed beads in here. A lot of these are large, so I'm going to take those back out because I don't think they'll go through this particular example that I'm doing. And then I'm gonna pop my funnel again. And then you can use that. Now because I've got those larger beads, they, uh, they got kind of trapped there in that neck, so I'm just going to untrap them. But I mean, you can use that tray as well. Now with the diamond painting little bits and bobs, those are so ultra tiny that you're not gonna have to worry about them bottlenecking in that little tapered spot right there, or even in your funnel, because those are, I think they're pretty standard to the same size. And it's almost like a, a micro seed bead, but they're flattened and kind of raised on the top. I'll, I'll insert pictures of it so you know what I'm talking about. And also Art Dot has that on their website. Take the funnel out and I have another little bottle loaded up of just bead soup. It's not anything that I have color coordinated, but this has a little bit of everything and it gets it off of my table or in the, all these little loose beading dishes. Once I'm done with those beading dishes and I'm, you know, like, hey, okay, I'll revisit that later. You know, I don't have to have them sitting around it and everything or uh, if I have too many in my bead soup tin which I have a video on that as well you can check that out it's got all kinds of different opportunities for different types of things I can just keep filling this up like 240 bottles worth and it doesn't have to be just beads it can be my little jump rings it could be some ear wires and that's the thing I can do that's exciting about using this box here is I can build up what I typically use whenever I teach jewelry making classes so that's exciting so I have all the beads let's just pretend that all of my little bottles are loaded full of beads and I'm going to flatten the funnel back up so I'm done with the funnel. I don't need my little trays anymore or the larger tray so I'm going to put that back up. The Ziploc baggies here if I wanted to use that for any reason instead of bottles I could do that. So I've put some things in there but then what else do I have? Well I have some tools. So I'm not exactly familiar with these tools because I do not do the diamond painting yet. And I think that is what these are, but I don't know exactly how to use them. So those of you who do, please leave below in the comments and let me know. I've got four of them. This is the one that looks different. I'm not sure what these ends are for here. I'm making the assumption that they're all different sizes. Well, these two are the same size. So you have one tool. It's got a pickup 
tool um, on the bottom. I do know that part. We have like a pickup tool for crystals. So this is like the diamond painting. So you need to pick it up, okay, place it on the mat, whatever. I don't know what the bottom is for. If I can find the, the information, I'll make a slide and put it in here for you, just in case you're interested in, in this for that purpose. I'm not a diamond painter, so I just work in jewelry making and crafting. They have the same tips there to pick up your diamond painting little components. And then all three of these have a triangular something. I don't know exactly, again, what they're for. This one is larger than those two. These two are the same, and then this one is larger. So there's four tools. For I've got more labels. So, I mean, they take care of you on these labels. So there's a bunch of labels there. And that's for your bottles if you want. And then I'm not sure what these are. These have squares, and if I find out, I will put that in a, either a visual slide or put that somewhere in the description, or maybe in my blog or something. But it looks like I could break those apart. They have a sticky film, so this is a clear, transparent film here. If you can see that, that is a transparent film. And then this is sticky right here on that square, and it looks like I can break those squares apart. Not really sure what that's for, but I will keep that here in my kit in case that I need it for any reason later down the road once I experiment a little bit more. All the trays fit in here, and if I don't want them to be in here, that's okay. I can kind of rearrange how I do it. So this is called the Diamond Painting Case, and it's pink, and this is actually pink and blue. It has a little bit of orange on there, too. I didn't realize that before, but this has got butterflies and flowers and everything really pretty, if you can see all of that there, and that is all over the case. Very nice pattern. The, they do also have this in a black with purple zippers, which is really cool. Uh, to me, it looks like the butterflies are in the right position, but maybe not to you if you're looking at it on the video. But the pattern is really nice, and I like the quality of the zippers, as I mentioned before. This handle, I mean, see how far that comes up there? And it's got an underneath grip. actually fits your fingers. Can you see the arches there? And then it's very secure feeling as far as it's not really going to go anywhere, but I can also flatten it back down if I don't need it to be like raised up like that as I'm carrying it. These edges over here are not wiggling, so I mean it looks very secure to me, so I could probably load this and feel pretty safe in the weight that it carries. Maybe I don't fill up all 240 of my bottles, <laughs> although I could, I'm not going to lie. Then, you know, I may not have that amount of weight, or maybe I do have all 240 of my bottles filled up, but... I'm not going to need them because I need to have my kits in this and this is all I want to take with me. So I just adjust whatever bottles of things that I want to take. I can adjust the layers of how many bead bottles that I want in my case. And then whoa, I can uh, get it all set up here. So I put this top layer back in here of my bottles. And then I'm going to get a couple of my kits and put it in this bottom here so I can demonstrate that for you. I'm gonna go ahead and zip up. Smooth on the zippering, so that's also nice. And now I can open this up. The whole top is open. I still have some bottles here on the bottom, but I can take those out now. And I'm going to get a couple of my little kit bags. The plastic containers that I take along with me whenever I do those illusion necklaces and jewelry and things, that's one of these, and they are stackables. Now they hold a lot, right? <laughs> look, look at that. It's very heavy because I have the different sizes of pearls in here and I don't have this all the way full. The other one that I have, a pink one, it's all the way full. Now, it starts to bulge and do all kinds of crazy things the more that you use it and move it around. Because I can do the same thing that I'm doing here in this thing, which is very handy if I'm not going to have to take it anywhere. Because I've been out with these teaching classes before and they have really been a problem. As a matter of fact, I dropped one of them because the bottom of the heavier one fell off and that was not fun, let me tell you. So the bottles, that bottle option would be a lot better and I don't necessarily have to have all of them with me and it, it also depends on how many different colors of things I want to offer to my jewelry making students because I have them tell me in advance what are your colors that you're looking for do you have a specific theme that you're going for and then that way it's very easy for me to plan how many of these bottles that I'm going to need to take with me and then strategize accordingly 
that's another thing that I loved about this when this company reached out to me on their other item that they want me to do a review for, which, you know, I'm doing a review on this one. This is the one I purchased. But that, I thought, yeah, that right there is going to be right up my alley when I am going around trying to teach these classes. So I can strategize a little bit better, definitely better than this. This I love for my house, but not for whenever I have to take it out. Because if it falls over in the car or, well, that tote bag will break. Like the handle will rip because these can get really heavy. Whereas this is all contained. I can move these things around if I want to. I can remove these bits and bobs here because I want to put some kids in there. Totally am loving this whole idea. If that wasn't as exciting for you as it is obviously for me, <laughs> then let me show you what the plan is for whenever I want to put my kids in here. I have this entire bottom empty. And this would be a scenario if, let's say I'm only going to teach one or two students, or I've got a very small, maybe four or five people that want to learn how to make jewelry. And it's just a very comfortable kind of class group. Then I'm going to get my kits. These are my tool kits for my students. I have a video showing what is in these kits, so I'll be sure to link that below if you're interested. This is one of my mobile beading kits that I like to teach, and it's very handy because there are tools and, and some other goodies in there. So that's a pink, and then I have my sparkly blue. Ah, you see where I'm going with this? See how I do this? This marketing, because you know, people get that in their minds and they think, oh yeah, Sparkle by Monica, pink and blue, sparkly glitter everywhere, everywhere. <laughs> I know, I get a little bit excited, don't I? I just love it. And I haven't been able to teach a class in a little while, so I've missed it, and I'm, I'm passionate. What can I say? I'm not making any apologies. <laughs> so, there's three, four. I like, to, I like to mix the colors up. I know, it's crazy, I know. And then, the instructor, I have to have tools too. I could always just use one of these. Let's say if I only have three students, just slap another bag in here. For, but what's the fun of that? Because as an instructor, I also have the need for a lot more tools. So this is one of those little rollout tool bags and I've got a bunch of tools like my pliers and things and a, a tape measure and all cutters, all kinds of good things. And look here, this wasn't planned. It has pink and blue and there's a butterfly on there. Well, guess what? There are butterflies on this case. So that's another thing. It's not the exact same shade of pink and all that, but that's okay, it's excusable. It just coordinates a little bit better. But now there's mine, my instructor kit. There are my student and my instructor kits all packed in that very bottom. I don't want to put any bottles in there. And I don't think I probably could, maybe, I don't know, let's see. We'll just experiment right here on the, on the, uh, the video, why not? because you just never know what you're liable to have to do whenever you have to teach a class, right? So I have got this. Now, it fits on this one side, but not on the other. But you know what I could do? I could take that out. Therefore, now I've at least got my bottles back in there with the student kits, right? There's the student kits. I've got the bottles in here. Now we're back to flat. So that's 80 bottles of goodies right there I could have. But I still have my instructor kit, right? Open the top. And look, I've still got bottles up here, but look, I've got all of this space here. So what I could do, if, even if I wanted to keep all of this over here, I just move this over. Maybe I don't even need the tray there, but let's just move it over, right? And then I could put my kit right there. Look how, how well that fits. Now, can I close it? Let's see. I think I can. And now I've got the zipper closed here, and let's see if I can get this closed. Now, you don't want to break anything, and this would be pushing it a little extreme, so I don't want to have any problem with that. But look, that just zipped up. All of that stuff is in there. I am able to lift that up, okay? It's nice and secure. Now, would I do something like that? Probably not, because I don't want to damage this. I'm gonna be using it a lot, so something else I can do. If this is the scenario, I wanna have two of those sections of beads. So I could unwrap this and maybe flatten it out just a little bit. I would keep this uh, tool side up so it wouldn't be injuring my bottles because I, I need a little bit of cushion there. Put my little flap right there. So I can then close this and maybe I just don't need some of this other stuff up in here. So I can kind of move this around a little bit. So now my tools are flatter. 
Still all the same stuff in there. I didn't take anything out of my bag, but now I don't have a hump there. <laughs> all right. I mean, isn't that awesome? I absolutely love that. Now, this is something, again, if you are like me and you go around and you teach people how to make jewelry or any kind of craft where these little bottles would be great, this is something that I would think would be right up your alley because, I mean, check that out. There are 80 bottles in each of these foamed sections. Those are already secured in the foam. You don't have to make the holes or anything. The bottles come out very easily and they have an awesome screw cap instead of just, you know, a cap that just slides right on there. That's extremely convenient, but it's also secure. And that's something that I am all about because, you know, I've had some snafus whenever I've gone to teach my jewelry making classes. Those of my students can attest to that, right? <laughs> Especially when you're tr trying to teach at a community college and you have to go all the way across campus because of where they make you park as to where they actually ha have you teaching the classes. And then no one bothered to tell you, oh, by the way, the entire college is going to be undergoing construction. So now the elevators are down. Yeah, I know. I know you're shaking your head. You're thinking, no, surely not. Not at the college. Yes. Uh -huh. And even without the construction, sometimes the elevators wouldn't work. So you'd be having to hoof it all up the stairs. And I have those rolling suitcases. Now, those are very handy and have saved my life on several instances. However, I probably took too much product because I was, you know, wanting to be sure when I'm at the, the college teaching these classes that, you know, if anybody was out of bead caps or they didn't have their tools or whatever, you know, I would be sure to have that stuff available. I maybe went a little overboard with the stuff that I took, but I always like to be prepared. <laughs> have you figured that out yet? But this little thing, if I'm just teaching at someone's house or maybe going to a church or, you know, wherever that I'm going to teach and I don't need a whole bunch of that stuff or rolly, I can just carry this with me, then all of this is just awesome. So what do you think about this, guys? I love my pink and blue case. The minute that they reached out to me, I was so excited because I thought, oh, those bottles are great. And then I got to go to their website and I saw this and I thought, you know what? This is something I need in my life. The perfect colors for me, right? And this is something that has all of these inserts that come out, but yet they're secure. Now I'm I'm going every which way. This is doesn't have any beads in it, but or is it? No. <laughs> I'm like, wait, well, wait. I put beads in one of them. But it, you know, it goes every which way and it's still secure. So that's another cool thing. Lay them across your table so that different people have access to different sections of bottles. It's not all has to be contained in here in your case. You can take those out, set them up on a table, and then put your case elsewhere out of the way while you all are doing the making and everything. And then put everything back into the case. I would pre-coordinate how I'm gonna load my case based on whatever I'm doing, just like I showed you here a minute ago. I have removed my kits. I've put all of the foam bottles back into the case and zipped everything up. So you can see a lot will fit into that case and then you can also be portable with that. So I love it. If you are interested in this case, I will have my affiliate link below as well as a coupon code SBM10. That gets you 10% off of your purchase at Art Dot, and you can check out whatever other products that are interesting to you as well. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and share this with any of your friends that might be interested in these beautiful cases here from ArtDot.com. If you've not already done so, please subscribe to my channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching and have a sparklerific day, y'all.